What up, best friends? Welcome back to my channel. So, Premier Lace Wig sent me this wig to show you guys, and I am excited for you to see. So, it came with a pamphlet, a wig cap, bobby pins, elastic band, a comb, and some eyelashes just to show you guys, okay? Oh, and there's some clips in here, I see them. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like. So this is a, a, a this kind of look like a 13 by six, okay? And it comes with combs and adjustable straps. The lace on this was soft. This is a 16 inch deep curly, uh, natural color uh, wig, okay? And um, I'm gonna be honest, I did go in here and I kind of made this wig a little blunt, even cut, you will see, or you did see in the beginning of this video, the uh, the lace front is uh, pre-plugged and this is the texture. So what I'm gonna go do, because this is um, a you know natural color, you can see the knots, and I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots on this wig, but this wig was definitely soft straight out the box. So you guys know I like my 30 volume, my quick blue, and I already have my mixture mixed up, so I I can go in and get the job done. So I like to flip the wig inside out and I'm gonna put the bleach on the lace and I'm gonna make sure that the knots are submerged in the bleach. And yeah, and I'm gonna just wait at least 20 minutes to make sure that it's processed and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. So this is me pushing the bleach through to make sure that the knots are fully submerged. You want to be careful doing this because you can uh, over bleach your knots. Not over bleach it, but you know, uh, push it through to the roots. So I let it process again for about 20 minutes. After it was done, I did shampoo with purple shampoo, conditioned with silicone mix, and then this is what the wig looks like. I did jump straight into it being customized. You guys see me customize numerous of wigs. I did do a side part because I was able to do a side part because the parting is a deep parting to do one so and then I added my baby hairs and everything like that and I did cut it blunt because like I said the length was a little bit awkward for me you don't have to do that but that's just something that I decided to do for my wig okay you guys so here we are days later and I have the wig ready and we're just gonna put her on so let's see the fit Okay, fits really good. Fits very good, honestly. Okay, so I was at the beauty supply and I purchased an even spray, it's a new one. So let me grab it. So it's this gold can, okay? This is one that I've never used. I've used every other one except this one. And this one is supposed to be for sensitive skin. And if you, are a oldie but a goodie on this channel, then you know I really don't rock with the even red can or black can. And you probably heard me say this on other videos. And the reason that I don't like them is because that concentration of alcohol that's in this and just the chemicals that's in the red and black can, um, over usage can literally, and I mean literally, break, up, break off your edges. Now my edges broke off but one of my friend's edges, she went completely bald in the area. Her hair grew back, but it was just, she did use this, not specifically this can, but she did use um, the red and I was using the black can, so. <clears throat> but this one is for, supposed to be for sensitive skin, so it's supposed to be way better than the red in the black can. And I think they also have a yellow can, yeah. I believe they also have a yellow can. And again, this is sensitive spray. This is a lace spray. It's paraben free, silicone free, phosphate free, alcohol. It's a lower lower percentage of alcohol, okay? And it says this holds 
10 times stronger for your lace. So this is an even New York. I bought the small one so I could try it because you know I'm skeptical and that is it. But the, again, the first ingredient in this spray is alcohol. So you want to be wary when it comes to sprays like this because it can dry out your hair. Um, and it can cause damage, okay? And I wouldn't suggest you use this for long-term use. I would suggest you do something like maybe Boho Jelly or Boho, uh, Boho Liquid Gold because those are alcohol-free products and they will not dry out your hair and they will not damage your hair whatsoever, okay? So for content purposes, I am gonna use this, but after I do use this, I am gonna go ahead and wash my braids and then I am going to condition my braids. Just, just, just to remove the alcohol and give my hair back its moisture in the front of my hairline. So if you're the type of person that likes to spray this on top of each other, on top of each other, every time you take your hair down and you don't wash your hairline, you might wanna be wash your hairline because the product buildup of this could be damaging. So, I just wanted to tell you that because I've said it in previous videos, but I didn't like really elaborate on this. So yeah, so this is a new can. They just came out with this one, so we're gonna try it today. Okay, so this lace fits very good, as you can see, but it's not my color. So we're gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses in the shade 16, and I'm gonna take both of the shades, and I'm gonna just pat it on my hairline. Okay, so the makeup is on the lace and it's giving scalp. If this was gone, it gives scalp, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and yeah, so it does not smell as strong as the normal even. I could definitely tell you that. Yeah, it's not strong at all. Touching it, it is sticky. It does get sticky super fast. So. Let's try it. You are going to need your blow dryer with this. So I have this ready to go. I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna do the middle, then to side to side and blow dry them while I'm doing that, okay? So let's go, let's get it. So you guys know the drill, so since it's laid down now, um, I'm gonna take some little clips, pin my baby hairs back, and cut off the excessive lace with an eyebrow razor or just a razor or some scissors. And then we'll just go ahead and lay the baby hairs and melt it and you know, just make sure the styling is on point. And then we're done, so let's get to that. on the beat. 
So I particularly don't like to use um, hairsprays anymore to lay my baby hair down and I never like to use mousse because I always felt like it lifted my hairline and it, I just didn't have control over it. So I like to use Lace Jelly from Boho. That's my go-to product now. It'll seem like it's going to be plastered to my head, but after you lay it and you spray your hair down to do the melting spray, melting method, you comb your baby hairs out so they won't be plastered, okay? So that's the trick to this situation here. While my hair is melting, I'm gonna go in and just make sure that the front of my hairline is sleek. I'm gonna take a wax stick. You can use any wax stick of your choice. I will say something that's matte, okay? And then I like to take, I was gonna use spritz. I changed my mind. I was, then I ended up using um, Beyond the Zone heat protectant. Spray it lightly, and then I'm gonna go in with my press and comb, and it's gonna give you that shine, sleek look, okay? Look at that, it's just, it's very neat, all right? So, um, I'm gonna go in with that, and just make sure that my part is parting, and um, everything around the hairline is laying how it's supposed to lay, and then all the hairs around the part is laid down, just to just, you know, make it look nice. And then after that, I'm gonna take some water and mist the hair and kind of clump the hairs together, not fully like combing it through, but just like rubbing it in. And then basically that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in this wig, I will definitely leave it down in the description box for you guys. Everything that I use will always be in the description box. For you guys, my eyelashes will be in the description box for you guys. That's one of the common questions I always get asked. Where are your eyelashes from? Girl, I'm wearing two pairs of eyelashes. 25 millimeter stacked up together and um i'll always wear the same type of air eyelashes over and over again but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions make sure you leave them down below in the comment section i'm always down there commenting interacting you know and until next time bye best friends